Now I'm ready to build a new virtual machine to use as my reference VM that I'll use to capture my image. I'll go to the Activities workspace and click the Reimage Devices tile and click Build Virtual Machine. This will start the build wizard. This wizard essentially creates and imports a new bare metal virtual machine. First, I need to select the virtualization platform I'm using. I have a quick side note for you here. If you are using Microsoft Hyper-V or VMware ESX, you'll have to use their respective consoles to recreate your new VM manually. To add to that, you don't have to use this build wizard. If you already have a system or process in place for creating your VMs or just prefer to do it yourself manually, you are welcome to do that. Getting back to the build wizard, I'm going to select VMware Workstation 15 Pro and leave Windows 10 selected and click Next. Give it a name like Reference VM so you don't mistake it for something else and pick a place to save it. The default location is in the Reference Machines folder in your Smart Deploy directory. It is not required for your VM to be saved in this directory. You can save it wherever you want. Once we've picked a spot, we'll click Next. If you've already downloaded it, click Browse and select the Windows Installation Media ISO. If you haven't, see my video on gathering your prerequisites for creating and deploying an image. Click OK and then click Next. Now we're ready to complete the wizard and build the virtual machine. The next steps for creating our reference VM are listed here as well. We'll boot the VM, install Windows and all available updates, add any extra software, and then shut down fully using the command line shutdown front slash s front slash t zero. I'll have the opportunity to adjust any VM settings as needed before I start the virtual machine and start the Windows installation. Once the installation is complete and Windows is up to date, you're ready for the next step.